Well, here's the all-time series history. Weber State leads it 26 to 24. These two teams haven't played in Flagstaff since 2000. And uh, let's see, that'd be five years ago. So that would be 2010. NAU, they're deep in the red zone at the six yard line. Cookus has the power eye, play action, roll out, lobs it, back of the end zone, caught, touchdown, NAU. So easy to Dejon Walker, his second touchdown reception of the season. Seven nothing Lumberjacks leading their driving. Second down and 10 at the Weber State 27. Right to left, Cookus shotgun calls for the ball. Play action, Cookus fires a bullet. It is caught on the inside by Elijah Marks. Makes a man miss at the five. Dances his way into the end zone for another NAU touchdown. Deshaun Marks. I think I said Deshaun Marks, you, didn't you, I? You did. We I, all knew I, what I, you meant. I got confused by the two of those guys. Right there, uh, a quick slant route, and then uh, Elijah does the rest on his own, popping into the end zone to make it... Uh, Almost a 14 to nothing lead. Well, he was dragged for a couple extra yards. That's a first down. First and 10. The ball's at the 27 yard line. Cook is pump fake, shoulder fake, deep down the middle. Wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, Kendall Taylor. Touchdown, NAU. Touchdown passes for Case Cook is that this time coming to the University of Washington transfer. Kendall Taylor. He got behind Taryn Johnson. Watch Kendall Taylor. There was no safety help up top. Just filling the hole right there. 52-yard field goal attempt out 52 there 52-yard field goal attempt for Josh Kialamakea. Here's the kick at altitude, 7,000 feet. He's got distance. It's good, a career long. He busts his career long of 48 yards with a 52-yarder. from the 2.30 to go. NAU driving up 21-3. There's the shoulder fake. Cook us. Oh, takes a big hit. Launches it over the shoulder. Oh! Is it caught? Touchdown. It is! It's caught! Touchdown! What kind of a one-handed, crazy, cool catch was that? Oh, my goodness! Well, Casey Cook, uh, Case Cook is takes a pop. Let's watch this catch. <laughs> Reaching out there. Wow! That is some kind of catch. And he kind of just tipped it back to himself with the one hand. This will most... The Owls. His first interception as a Lumberjack. Pressure coming, blitz. Cookus has got to get this one. It's a screen. Sets it up perfectly. Look at Casey on at the 30. Cuts back at the 25-20. He's at the 15. Inside the 15 to the 10-yard line. And now this is Cookus. Dives for the pylon. No call. It's a there it is. Touchdown, Lumberjacks. Second down and about three at the 32-yard line of the Wildcats. Clark in the shotgun. 55 seconds to go. Here's a snap. Play action. Deep drop Clark. Pressure coming. He gets out of one. He's on the run now. Clark sets. Fires. Deep. Way deep. Oh, my. It's caught at the 15 behind Leandre Vaughn. First down. Wildcats inside the 10. Ball hung up forever. Automatic first down. And, uh... The receiver, Denby, was able to adjust back to the football and go up and catch it. And One yard line, Clark hands it off. Garrett, Garrett dives into the end zone on the left side. It's a touchdown, Weber State. On our simulcast, Weber State now moving left to right here to start the second half. Clark on first down. Throws it's picked off by Horn at the 27. Horn, easy to the end zone. Eddie Horn. Jacks. Really thrown directly to Eddie Horn, who uh, stepped in front of the receiver, and, and there was nobody there with a blue helmet to catch him. Two denied. Again, this team came in on a two-game winning streak, Weber State, including a big-time win at Missoula a couple of weeks ago in overtime. Play action. Deep drop Clark. Feels the pressure on the run. Being chased from behind. Busts through. Big run, Jadrian Clark. First down, Wildcats to the Lumberjack, 34-yard line. They've got to win this game to stay in the playoff hunt. Here's the snap. Clark's going to run it right up the middle. Quarterback draw. Got in there. Touchdown. Just got it in. I think uh, to score Weber State's second touchdown. Design run for Clark over the right side of the line. Second effort. I'm not interested.
No thanks. Play action. Cookus going downfield. We got some contact. Oh, it's going to be intercepted by Weber State on the far side of the field. I think maybe a little bit of miscommunication between. A little bit. And they, you know, they're a type of team that can come back. So you want to just mm. keep that pressure on. Here in the end zone, over the shoulder. Does he make the catch? Boy, that's he a heck does. Of a heck of a what catch. a catch. Over his shoulder. A perfectly thrown football by Jadrian Clark. And an equally nice reception for touchdown. Ross Stribling, his first catch this season. Ooh, boy, and it's a pretty one. Oh, that's just big time. Stribling over the shoulder. They'll take a look at it, but I don't see anything. Well, snap to Clark. Pocket protection down the middle. It's caught, and it's Wilkes, and it's a first down in the Lumberjack territory inside the 30. Back to the one-yard line. It's third and goal for the one. 42-23, we're at the start of the fourth quarter by Weber State, third and goal for the one. This is the power eye formation. Toss, Wilkes, touchdown, now, Weber State. Weber State, I think, is much more desirable than a 12-point deficit. 11-point deficit, you can tie it with a field goal and a touchdown and a two-point conversion. After that overturned interception. Clark throws it out onto the far side of the field. This is going to be a Weber State first down. Look at this play. West Sutton couldn't make the tackle on Stribling. Here's Clark again going down the far sideline. Are you kidding me? Look at this one. Another pitch and catch. It looks like Stribling again. It is inside the 15 to the Lumberjack 14-yard line. Whoa. Here on a couple of extra points. you got to wonder about that. Clark hands it off. Wilkes running the right side into the end zone. Touchdown. Oh, my. Look at Wilkes. I mean, really, Wilkes had no trouble finding the end zone on that run. Fourth down, partner. Fourth down and eight. Weber State right to left at the Lumberjack 27. 328 to go. This could be the ball game right here. Clark low snap. Heaves this one downfield. It's overthrown and it's batted down incomplete. NAU can take the victory formation, and if they can do that, that means they will come out with 10 men as opposed to 11 in honor of their fallen teammate, Michael DeGroote, who tragically died this summer in Alaska, number 49. They wear a sticker on the back of the helmets, MD49, for Michael DeGroote, the senior out of Fountain Hills High School. In every victory formation this year, the team will come out with 10 men to remember Mike DeGroot. There's the knee, and that's the ball game. 52 to 36, but not after a furious comeback attempt by a Weber State football program out of Ogden, Utah. There are the numbers. Chris Alt, Mike Kramer, of course, the current head coach at Idaho State University. He's chasing down Chris Alt as well, and the current head coach right there at Cal Poly also a head coach at Portland State, Tim Walsh, he's got 61 conference wins. So Chris Alt under assault.